what you are looking at here is the Blackwell Legacy. Now, I just want to take a f uh, well, take a moment to talk a, a little about this game here. Uh, see, uh, this game offers you commentary uh, when you buy it. However, I will play with the commentaries off because, hey, that's what I'm doing. And, well, if you want to hear the commentary, which really is um, interesting. They, they have a lot of interesting things to say. And there are funny bloopers if you're into that as well. So, yeah, if you want that, you... Uh, yeah, you really should buy this game. Um, well, these games. Okay, so apparently, yeah, this game has achievements. Uh, for some reason, though... Uh, oh yeah, right. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. Uh, see, I played this before, but on a different computer, and I kind of forgot that's how it was, so yeah. Of course I would not have achievements on this computer, because there is just no save file here. <laughs> and no record of me ever having played the game on this computer. But, uh, yeah. This game is a point-and-click 2D adventure game, developed and published by Wadget Eye Games. They have a website and, uh, yeah, their own eShop. Oh, e store, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you can also find most of their games on uh, Good Old Games, that's GOG.com. Um, I think they're on Steam as well. Um, not sure if they're on Gamers Gate, but uh, yeah, they are easy to find and uh, all of them are um, well, at least, um, they are quality designs. Uh, whether you like them or not is, of course, a, a different story altogether. Now, uh, the Blackwell games deal with this woman here, the redhead, whose name is Rosangela Blackwell. And uh, she... Um, starts off as a journalist and then... Uh, she meets this man here, and uh, yeah, things uh, get kind of fascinating from there. Um, well, I mean, fascinating as uh, <laughs> um, low-budget indie uh, point-and-click adventure games get. Uh, now, all of these games are built on the... Uh, AGS engine, I believe it's called. Um, framework or something. Anyway, uh, there's a whole um, uh, community center and a forum and just a whole lot of stuff dealing with this uh, framework that this game is built on. And there are several other point and click adventure games built using that because, well, it is a 2D point and click adventure game <laughs> engine. So, yeah, well, there you go. I think uh, the original purpose was to get something like the old uh, Sierra point-to-click adventure games, which I am old enough to remember, just so you know. Um, okay, well. Now, how I am going to uh, uh, structure this, well, something or whatever you want to call it, uh, I am going to play this game in um, sort of long stretches and then uh, cut the videos down into, uh, well, YouTubeable chunks. Seeing as at this point I'm only, a, I'm only allowed to uh, upload uh, um, f like 15 minute clips, um, I hope that will change. Um, sometime in the future, but not before uh, uh, February 2015. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, I, I did not know you could access this from the menu, but uh, yeah, that is the inventory screen up there, by the way. And you can reach the options screen, it's uh, quite the same as entering options from here. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, that 
should be enough of a presentational blurb for today. Uh, oh yeah, about achievements and the commentary. If you play the game from start to finish with commentaries on, you can get an achievement for that. But since I'm not going to play like that, I will not get that achievement in the end. Um, okay, so... Uh, happy trails, and... Um, yeah, look forward... I I'm... <laughs> Yeah, okay, whatever. Spooks, ghosts, and uh, things. See you in the uh, next video.